Cactus Jack, it wasn't my fault. It wasn't my fault. The ear thing, um, um, he wanted to do the, the hangman spot, you know, where yeah. you catch yourself. And he does a gimmick called the hangman. He goes in, the guy moves, boom, he ties himself up in a rope. He's sitting there dangling, hanging, and so forth. Well, anyways, he's wrestling with Vader this night. And um, I, I really hadn't checked the ropes, see how tight they were, but apparently they were very tight. My match was before his. So I'm working before Jack, so of course I have to have all the ropes tightened. So all the ropes are tightened so I can go out and work, do my thing. So after my match, I get out and leave, but I forget to tell the guy to loosen the ropes back up. So Jack goes out there, they're working their match. So about 5, 10, 15 minutes into the match, you know, goes into the spot. He charged me and I ducked, he, he hung himself. You know, as a heel, I backed up, you know, well, he's hung, so what? Boom, Jack gets hung up in the hang, man. He's tied up with a fucking rope. The, the ropes were literally, they were they were choking him to death. He was turning purple. He was, he was within minutes of dying. Wow. And, um, and they were stealing so tight. Um, the ref was over there, um, you know, he wasn't, he wasn't working. He was shooting. He had his foot trying to get that off. Yeah. And I, he kind of looked at me, and, and I realized what was going on. It was so tight on his ears, it had, it had really kind of partially ripped one. I don't know if anyone knows this, but one was partially ripped off. Wow. And the other one was, was just barely hanging there. But we couldn't tell that it was just hanging there, him nor I. So what happened was, it was about ready to fall off. I mean, if you touched it, it probably would have fell off. And so I saw the blood, and so I, you know, I said, well, God, what a perfect time to go home. Yeah. I saw the blood, and I, you know, I said, let's get some meat and get out of here, you know? And so, you know, those clubs I was giving, I, was, I, you know, I gave him a couple of bands and booms, and, and I hit him one time in the ear, and it fell off. <laughs> 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 the referee picked up his ear and handed it to the ring announcer, and they took it back. Gary Capetta's announcer, he walks over with a damn tissue, he picks it up, and he's holding it like this. Oh, my God, it's cactus his ear. what I do? what I do? So I reached over there, grabbed it from him, threw it in the bag of ice. You know, I'm thinking, hey, you know, throw it in the bag of ice. You know, hey, 20, 30 minutes, they get to the hospital, maybe they can sew it back on. That's that story, but no, I didn't rip his ear. I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> comes back, he does a 15, 10, 20 minute promo. Then he sits there and he takes 15, 20 minutes of pictures. Of course, you know, I'm holding up the air, I'm in the picture and shit, pointing to his air and shit. You know, <laughs> uh, you know I had cameras there, you know, I got to get in on the shot and shit, you know what I'm saying? And shit, you know. But uh, anyways, nevertheless, he finally decides to go to the hospital. Well, it's an hour and a half, something later. He just took too damn long, shit done died off. Can't sew it back on because, you know, the air, it ain't nothing but cartilage any damn ways and shit. So it just took too long and he lost his ear, but he wrote in his book and he still blamed it. It was me, Jack. It wasn't my fault. I'm sorry. It wasn't my fault, damn it.